Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, class. Hello, class. Okay, we are already here. Bien. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? How are you today, class? Are you happy today? How was your Thursday? Today is Thursday. How was it? How was your day? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, you're fine. Excellent. How about Bernardo, Karen, Claudia, Catherine? How are you, class? Hello. Hello, Bernardo. How are you today? Very good, teacher. You're very good. Are you ready for this class? Yes or no? Yes. Ready. Yes, we are. We are ready, exactly. What day is it today? Who can tell me the date? Today is? Today is? March 17. March 17. 17. Very good. Thursday, Thursday. And how's the weather today? Is it rainy today or not? Yeah. No, not right? No. Not today. Yesterday was a rainy day, but not today. Today is very hot, very hot, you know? So let's wait for your classmates. We are about to start eight o'clock. Eight o'clock and we are ready to start. Don't forget to have your cameras on all the time to participate and ask me. If you have any questions or observations, you can ask me. Okay, Catherine, me pide permiso para tener su cámara un rato apagada, ok, va en tráfico, muy bien, no hay problema. Bien, el resto de la clase, ¿dónde están? I cannot see Katia, Catherine. Excuse me, teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, go home. Ok, <laughs> you're, go, you're, you're going home. home, ok, on your way home, don't worry, don't you worry, ok? Ok, thanks. So, here we go. Tell me, class, do you remember the topic from yesterday? We were talking, talking about a specific topic. Do you remember the topic? Yes, no? Simple. What were we doing? Yes, simple, present, simple, statement. Present. simple yes. present statements. Affirmative or positive statements and negative statements. Affirmative or positive and negative statements so what are we missing are we missing the questions the questions or interrogative excellent jancy questions or interrogative so cameras on please cameras on i already have 19 students wow thank you so much for being on time 19 very good cameras on so here we go did you check the platform? Did you check, check the platform today? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, some of you did, but yes. not. I had some students who didn't access to the platform and didn't complete the activities. Olvidemos que para ahora tenemos el límite para sección 1 y sección 2. ¿Qué más? Nombre completo al ingresar a la clase. Ok, aquí vamos. So, here we go. En honor al tiempo y a la puntualidad, empezamos. Damos cinco minutos y pasamos la lista, ¿ok? So, here we go. Excellent. I'm really happy to see you once again. Let me see. We have uh, this missing part of simple present interrogative, interrogative part, ¿ok? Here we go. Take a look at this one. Simple present statements, but in this case, negative. And if you remember, we were talking about a formula, formula, okay? But in this case, for the interrogative, we have auxiliaries at the beginning. Auxiliary do or does, plus subject, plus verb, plus 
complement and not the end. It's so necessary and you don't need to forget the question mark, okay? Can you help me out? How do you read this formula? ¿Quién puede leer esta formula? Yes. Yes, Yancy. Do plus does. Do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Don't forget. ¿Cómo decimos signo de interrogación en inglés? Question mark. Uh -huh. Question mark. Question, question mark. mark. Mark, very good. Mark, question mark. ¿Cómo decimos punto final? Period. period. Ah, el punto final si es period. Si es un punto que va en medio de la oración, ese sí es dot. Okay? Por ejemplo, dot com. Ah, como no va al final, es dot. But in this case, period. But here we don't have a period. This is just extra information. So if you remember yesterday we have some examples about how do you get to work? How do you get to work? Let's go ahead and have the same exercises, okay? Here we go. Look, so I have do and does, do and does. Number one, number one, do I live Far from here, do I live far from here? Number two, do you live near here? Do you live near here? Does he work downtown? Does he work downtown? Do we live alone? Do we live alone? Do they need a car? Do they need a car? So look, we have some interrogative. These are not affirmative. They are not negative statements. They are interrogative. And the same, be careful because we are going to use do and does for the third person, okay? Do and does. On the other hand, we are going to use I, you, we and they, with the auxiliary, do, do, okay? So one more time, let's read. Catherine, can you read number one, please? Read it, please. Number one. Do I live from, far from here? One more time. Do I live far from here? Excellent intonation. So don't forget, raising intonation at the end. Siempre la entonación, cuando tenemos una pregunta, ¿qué pasa? ¿Va para arriba o para abajo al final? Do I live far from here? It goes up or down. ¿Cómo va la entonación al final? Up or down? Class. Down. Down. Up. Up. Up, 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 excellent, up. Listen, do I live, si fuera down, do I live far from here? No, vamos con up. Eso nos denota entonación de pregunta. Do I live far from here? Do I live far from here? Oh, excellent. So don't forget uh, the intonation, correct intonation. Samuel, continue please. Do you live near here? One more time. Do you live near here? Excellent. Jancy, go ahead and continue. Okay. Does he work downtown? One more time. Does he work downtown? Excellent. Excellent pronunciation. Marina, Marina del Carmen, can you continue, please? Does she drive to work? Does she drive to work? Excellent pronunciation. Marvin, continue, please. Do we live alone? Do we live alone? Do we live alone? Excellent. Claudia Lisette, 
The last one, please. Claudia, are you there, Claudia? Last one, they, they. Do they need a car? One more time. One more time. Intonation, please. Do they need a car? Excellent. Do they need a car? Do they need a car? Very good job. So intonation, we need to uh, be careful with that, okay? Intonation. So do we need a car? So let's stop here. I'm going to ask for your names and then we can continue. Chicos, vamos a pasar la lista, okay? Say here or present. Today is Thursday 17, okay? Amilcar Hernandez. Amilcar. Yeah. Yes, yes, he's present, there. teacher. Very good job. Bernardo Antonio. Yeah, he was there. Por ahí lo vi. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Present. Present. Excellent. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Present, teacher. Very good. Carmen Lizette Santillana. Present, teacher. Excellent. Claudia Lizette López. Present, teacher. Excellent. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present. Excellent. Emma Jamilet Corea. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Present. Gerson Antonio Hernández. I'm here. Excellent. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present. Irma Raquel García. Is Irma in the class? Okay, maybe she's not here. Jaime Osvaldo Cortés. Present. Okay, Jose Samuel Rodriguez. Present teacher. Very good. Juliana Bergeli Martinez. Present. Okay. Karen Yvette Callejas. Present. Okay. Catherine Abigail Garcia. Present. Okay. Catherine Alicia Martinez. Okay. Ka, eh, Kelly, perdón. No, Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present teacher. Excelente. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Okay. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. I'm here. Very good. Wendy del Carmen González. Present. Jancy Andrea Melendez. It's me. Very good. And Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. Okay, so I'm just missing Catherine Alicia, Irma Raquel. Okay, those are the ones who are missing in this class. Hopefully they're, they are going to join. Very good job. So class, questions. Now let's go no. and check the video that we have in the platform so we can have some extra vocabulary and extra exercises, okay? Here we go. Look at this one. We have a video and we are going to listen to it right now. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how- And you listened. Yes. Yes. No? yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Face close attention. Simple present questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about daily routines, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by practicing a conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. 
On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used. Okay, for but before this one, I want you to listen to that conversation again. Take a look at this conversation. And we have some people, some people in front of, how do you call this place? These people is in front of, is this a supermarket, a park, a school? How do you call this place? They are in front coffee shop. Excellent. What is the name of this coffee shop? Susan. Susan's. Oh, Susan's coffee shop. Susan's coffee shop. And what is the conversation about? We have Jack and we have Amy. Jack and Amy. Okay. What is the conversation about? Let's listen again. Okay. Let's listen so we can discuss about this conversation. And let's listen and practice. Here we go. Let's listen and practice. Very good. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. We just heard a conversation in which... Okay, what is the conversation about? What is this conversation about? What can you tell me? About the, his daily routine. Day, oh, daily. exactly. They are mentioning daily routine. ¿Qué están mencionando en esta conversación? Jack and Amy. They are talking about plans or daily routines. And Jack is making an invitation. ¿Qué invitación está haciendo Jack? To have the breakfast in the let's go. Uh, ir al parque. Go ah, the park. there you go there you go let's go to the park on sunday okay but let's go in the afternoon why because mm -hmm. she sleep late <laughs> ah okay simple present ¿Cómo hacemos esa oración? because she sleeps late yeah she sleeps late on um, weekends well do you sleep late on weekends sunday or saturday do you sleep late yes or no I wish that I... you wish yeah, yeah right because i cannot sleep do late. you eat breakfast then sure i have breakfast so i cannot sleep late any day not even sundays okay so what time do you get up on Sundays? What time do you get up on Sundays? Take a look at that question. Amy, what is the information about Amy? What time do you get up on Sundays? Breakfast she every gets, day. Uh -huh. She gets up at 10 o'clock. She gets up at? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Here is the information at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock and then the conversation goes on. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Noon. When we say noon, ¿qué hora es cuando decimos noon? Mediodía. Ah, mediodía. Or? Bien, I get up at noon. I get up. Uh -huh. Wow, imagine. Uh, I get up at noon, dice. Imagínense, ustedes se levantan at noon or what time do you get up? What time do you get up? The most later at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Remember that we are talking about Sunday. What time do you get up on Sunday? Yes, Zaira, Ingrid, Emma, what time do you get up? A qué horas nos levantamos el Sunday? 7 30. 7 30. Um, yes, Sunday. 7 o'clock in At the morning. Seven. Wow, but wow. that is early. Yes? Yep. <laughs> so 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, And then we have, do you eat 
breakfast then? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. So imagine what time are they going to have breakfast? ¿A qué hora van a tener el, el desayuno? The time of the, <laughs> of the lunch. <laughs> At lunch time, but they yeah. are going to have? At one o'clock. <laughs> Why? If you're curious, si son curiosos, si se fijan aquí atrás, ¿qué dice aquí? Susan's Coffee Shop. Miren acá, no sé si pueden ver. Está muy pequeñito It's también. Breakfast all day. We serve breakfast all day. We serve breakfast all day. So, if you want to have breakfast at one o'clock, where are you going to, to go? What place are you going to visit? The Susan's Susan, Coffee Shop. Susan, Denise. Susan, Denise. Excellent, Katia. Exactly, Denise. Aquí tenemos esa versión de Susan's Coffee Shop. We have Denny's. ¿Ya han ido a Denny's a almorzar? No, en este caso, a desayunar a la una de la tarde. Yes, right? Yes. Yes. So they serve breakfast all day. So that is the conversation about. Quiero que le pongan atención a eso porque vamos a hacer nuestra rutina ahora también. Okay? Vean las palabras claves en el vocabulary. So, I wake up, I have breakfast, eh, I get up. Y ahí están algunas expresiones, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Y aquí vamos. Ok, go. We just heard a conversation in which lots of questions were asked and answered. I would like to explain how these questions are formed. Let me start by explaining the auxiliary verbs that are used when forming questions in the simple present. Do and does are the auxiliary verbs. And okay, do and does. Do and does. What are those? ¿Cómo le llamamos a esos? Do and does. Auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs do and does or auxiliaries auxiliaries también do and does as we start forming questions you must also understand this rule do equals to i you we and they and they excellent does equals to he she and it this means that we will use the auxiliary do Whenever we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. Okay. And we will use the auxiliary does whenever we use the pronouns he, she, and it. Having said this, let me write the formulas to form questions. Formula. For Form yes or no questions, <laughs> do or does, plus subject, plus the verb plus some kind of complement. For WH questions, WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus a verb plus some kind of complement. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on plus okay. some kind of complement. But what are we missing? Are we missing something here in this formula? ¿Qué nos haría falta en esta formula? The question mark. Question mark, okay? Yes, it's very important. Maybe he's not mentioning it because it is supposed to use a question mark. Pero no olvidemos, okay? And very interesting. We have do and does and WH questions. WH. Dos tipos de preguntas que podemos usar con do and does. Look. WH questions. For example, look, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? 
or we can have do or does. Do you get up early on Sundays? Miren, dos tipos de preguntas, ¿ok? Do you get up early on Sundays? ¿Cómo respondemos la primera? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? I get up at 10 o'clock. Ok. Class, participate. Don't be afraid. Aunque se equivoquen, pues corregimos. Si no, no hay problema. No dejen que solo... Eh, los demás participen, todos podemos hacerlo, ok? We can do it. So, I get up. Eh, did you say at seven? At seven, yeah. Okay, let's write it with numbers. Seven. Let's write o'clock. Maybe this is impossible. No, not o'clock. Porque es imposible levantarse en punto a las siete, at seven. <laughs> and do you get up early on Sundays? Do you get up early on Sundays? No, I don't. Ah, this no, is a I yes, don't. no question. Is this not a question of yes or no? No. I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Very good job. So let's continue. Now let's take a look at the simple present questions on your screen. Do you get up early? No, I get up late. Okay. Does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they drive to work? Yes, they drive to work every day. What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At 1 o'clock. When do they drive to work? Every day. On the left side of the chart, you can see yes or no questions. So if you recall the formula that I mentioned a minute ago, for yes or no questions, do or does, plus the subject, plus some kind of verb, plus a complement. Uh, we're going to take the first example. Do you get up early? Do is the auxiliary verb. You is the subject. Get up is the verb. And the complement. And early is the complement. Very good job. And of course, we need to add a question mark at the end. Okay, is it clear this one? Do we need to concentrate on this one? Is it clear this formula? Do or does, subject, verb, complement, and at the end, don't forget to have the question mark, okay? Do yes. I need, yes, right? Yes. Sí, claro, ¿verdad? Veamos. Let's practice it. Vamos a practicar. Let's go back and back and back. So you can have this practice. Okay, wait. Era más adelante. Affirmative. Yo les muestro las afirmativas y ustedes qué van a hacer? Pasármelas, ¿ah? Preguntas. Best practice. Best practice, okay? I have affirmative sentences and you are going to make a question okay here we go volunteers i need how many five volunteers now five volunteers now there you go i have one two three four and one more just one more thank you so much okay jaime number one do i take the bus um, intonation you can do it again go Do I take the bus? Do I take the bus? Do I take the bus? Oh, that sounds different. Now, one more time, Jaime. I know you can do it. Try it again. <clears throat> do I take the, the bus? Excellent. There you go. Congratulations. Katia, go ahead and continue. 
Hey, do you try to work? Wow, great intonation. Do I try to work? Stacy. Go ahead, Stacy. Do you take the train? One more time, intonation. Do you take the train? There you go. Marina. Do we walk to school? Do we walk to school? Excellent. And who's missing? Carmen Lisette. ¿Cuál me toca? The last one, day. Do, do they take the sofa? One more time. Perdón. Can you repeat, please? Do they take the subway? Oh, wow. Do they take the subway? Okay. Uh, Jancy, continue. <laughs> yes, Jan. Yes, please. Okay. Sí, lo, con los tomates. Wait, 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 what is that? <laughs> what did I hear? <laughs> wait, wait, give me a second. Class, don't forget your microphones. Escuchamos tomates por ahí. <laughs> Vamos, Jancy, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Does he take the bus? One more time. Does he take the bus? Does he take the bus? Wow, excellent. Jose Samuel, continue. Does she drive to work? Okay, one more time. Does she drive to work? Okay, let me see. Carmen Guadalupe, number one. I take the boots. One more time. What is the auxiliary? I take the boots. Do or does, veamos, empezamos, acuérdense de la fórmula. Do or does, do or does. Uh, do I take the boot? Okay, do I take the bus? I, do I take the boot? Excellent, there you go, Carmen, así me gusta. Muy bien, do I take the bus? Bernardo, number two, Bernardo. Do I drive to work? Wow, do I try to work? Excellent pronunciation, I like it. And who else? Irma, Irma. Are you ready, Irma, to participate today? Irma. Is Irma in the class? Okay, maybe she's having problems. Marvin, please, Marvin. This one, Marvin. Do you take the train? Wow, do you take the train? Excellent job. Uh, Saira, can you help me, Saira? Can you try with this one? Do we walk to a school? Wow, intonation. One more time, Saira. Do we walk to a school? Wow, do we walk to school? Wow, excellent. Ingrid Jamilet, please. Do they take the subway? Do they take the subway? Excellent job, Emma. This one is for you, Emma. Do I take the bus? Wow, do I take the bus? Excellent pronunciation, Nereida. Do I drive to work? Wow, excellent intonation. Karen Yvette, can you help me out? Hmm? Uh, your microphone, Karen. Yes, there you go. Ah, oh, perdón. <laughs> do, <laughs> yes. do take the eh, No sé si se escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Oh. Yeah. One more time. 
Do you? Ah, ok. <laughs> Pero, este, do you take the train? Wow, excellent. Congratulations. Um, who's missing? Uh, I need do, you to participate. Do you? <laughs> do you take the train? Muy bien, muy bien. Excellent job. Tell me. Tell me, Carolina. Make a question, please. Do we go to a school? Excellent. Carlos Manuel Ramos. I have one for you. Do, do they take the subway? Do they take the subway? Wow, excellent. Gabriela Nicole, help me out. Do I take the bus? Uh -huh. Very good. Do I take the bus? Bus. Do I take the bus? Repeat, please, Gabriela. Bus. Do I take the bus? Excellent. Amilcar, this is for you. Uh, do I drive uh, to work? Wow, do I try to work? Excellent job. Gerson Antonio, you're next. Uh, do you take the train? Wow, do you take the train? Well, excellent. Irma. Irma, this is for you, Irma. Do we, we walk to school? Uh -huh. Do we walk to school? One more time, Irma. Repeat, please. One more time. Otra vez, Irma. Quiero escucharla. Excellent. We walk to school. And the last one, ¿quién tengo acá? Do we we walk to a school. Excellent. Great pronunciation. The last one is for Wendy de Carmen. Um, do they take this away? Excellent intonation. Congratulations. Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Excellent job. So you see, we already know how to make questions, affirmative statements, negative statements, okay? You did an excellent job. So we are going to do something right now. Take a look at this example about daily routines. What do you do on a regular day? Clase, ¿qué hacen en un día normal, en a regular day? What do you do? Study, 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 study. Study, study, study. Work. Work, 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 I remember that I enjoyed it. When I was, yeah. when I was, that's it. Cuando yo estaba como Yancy, yes. También estudiaba. You're a lucky girl. How old are you, Yancy? How old are you? I'm 16. 16? Yes. Oh, imagine class, she's 16. Hay alguien más joven que Yancy? No? She's the youngest girl in the class, right? Miss, no puede haber alguien menor porque... El... Tienen que tener 16 años para tenerlos. Oh, imagine so. O hay alguien más de 16. Preguntemos entonces. ¿No? La viejita. Nice. She's our baby. Yeah, right. But yeah, she's a smart girl. Me encanta participar. Así seamos. No perdamos todo el miedo para participar. Ok, so. When I was like Jancy, you know, I started, started. Once a time. <laughs> Once upon <laughs> a time. When I was 16. Oh, she's a lucky girl. So, routine. What do we do every day? Veamos desde la mañana. Speaking time, speaking practice. ¿Qué hacemos? Lo primero que hacemos, obviamente, es. Levantar, ah, no sé, get up. Get up. Ah, open, get up. Open my eyes. Yes. No se vayan tan rápido. Get up. Open my eyes. Uh, uh, open my eyes, of course. So, get up. And wake up. Those are different verbs. Okay, and actions. ¿Cuáles son las diferencias de get up and wake up? 
Yes. Eh, no sé si wake get up, up es despertarse. levantarse de cualquier lado y wake up uh -huh. es levantarse es de la cama. Despertarse, creo que wake up y get up es levantarse. Ok. ¿Alguien más o estamos de acuerdo con eso? Yes. No. And how do we say that in English? ¿Cómo diríamos eso en inglés? Uh -huh. No. Because this is an English class. I need you to give me those concepts in English. If not, let me help you out. Les ayudo. Mira, aquí lo tenía ya en una diapositiva. Ah, but I don't like red. Wait. No me gusta el rojo, se ve feo. Vámonos con a different color. So, get up and wake up. Those are different verbs, okay? Different actions. There we go. Oh, siempre quedo rojo. Lo siento, clase. Wake up means to open your eye to be awake. Get up means to stand up. Get out of bed, okay? So, ¿cuál es la primera acción que hacemos? Wake up or get up? Wake up. Oh. Wake up. Mm -hmm. We wake, wake up. up. Nos despertamos. I wake up at 6.30 in the morning. At 5. At 4. Depende de su hora, ¿verdad? So, wake up means to open your eyes to be awake. Quiero que copien esta definición para que cuando les preguntemos sepamos dar la definición en inglés, ¿ok? Porque la idea está en español, pero en inglés es necesario. Wake up means to open your eyes to be awake. Get up means to stand up and get out of bed. Did you finish? Ah, who's watching TV? Let me check. Who's watching TV? Oh. Okay, there you go. So, wake up and get up. Wake up and get up. So those are different. Let's go to the example. No more verbs. Goodbye, verbs. And here, look at this one. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Oh, Lisa is a student at university and here is her daily routine. Here is her daily routine. Let me see who can help me out reading. Veamos, vámonos con dos voluntarios, two volunteers, two only. Uh -huh. I have Jancy and let me see. The same guys, okay, but don't worry. Los mismos chicos, veamos. Jancy, number one and two, go. Okay, I always wake up at, ten, at seven, excuse me, uh -huh. in the morning. Uh -huh. I usually have breakfast at 10 and 30. Okay, okay. Jose Samuel, three and four. Three, four and five, please. I cut, I cut the bus to university at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. I usually start studying at eight past okay. Ah, okay. Ah, do you remember? How do we say this in English? Si vieron la, como decir la hora en el módulo anterior? Yes. Ah, yes. ¿cómo decíamos? 30, que pasaron 30 30. de las 8. 30. A half. Ah, there you go. Half past. Half past. Excellent. Ok, Samuel, the last one. Uh, I always. I always have lunch at noon. At noon. Very good. And Jaime. Continue, please. Number one and two. I finished university at four quarter and the afternoon. 
We can say 4.15, a quarter I... past four in the afternoon. Very good. Repeat, please, Jaime. Repeat. I, I finish mm -hmm. university at uh, four uh, quarter mm -hmm. the afternoon. Very good job. Carmen Lisette, continue. I sometimes mm, go to the movies mm, with my friends in the evening. Okay. Bernardo, continue. I try, I have dinner with my family mm -hmm. at the booth seven in the evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. I usually have dinner with my family at about seven in the evening. Excellent job, Bernardo. Juliana, continue. I never go to bed before 11 o'clock. And Nereida, please, the last one. I often go to bed at midnight. Okay, so I have a lot of volunteers. I really like that one, but wait. Ustedes me van a ayudar con la siguiente. En la mano. So what are we going to do? We are going to work in groups haciendo estas preguntas. Vamos a preguntar sobre la rutina, ¿ok? ¿Qué van a preguntarles? Aquí vamos. Give me a second. What time do you get up? What time do you get up? What time do you have lunch? What time do you have lunch? And what time do you go to bed? Let me repeat, please. What time do you get up? What time do you have lunch? What time do you go to bed? Three questions. Let's write it down. Okay, here we go. Number one, write it down on your note. What time? On your notebooks, please. Do you get up? Number two. What time do you go? Do you have lunch? Excellent. And what time do you go? Rubén, ¿a qué horas nos vamos a la cama? Okay, so, where are those volunteers? Los que tenían la mano levantada, ¿quiénes eran? Ahí tengo cinco más, muy bien clase. Carlos Manuel, Carlos Manuel. What time do you get up, Carlos Manuel? I get up, uh, I get up at seven, seven in the morning. Oh, seven in the morning. Okay. Hey, Katia, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at noon. At noon, okay. Stacy, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 30 p.m. Oh, 10 30. Okay, excellent. Hey, Nereida, what time do you get up? I get up um, five. At five. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. So, vieron lo que hicimos, el ejercicio como lo hicimos. Mencionamos el nombre y luego qué hacemos? Le decimos la pregunta, ¿ok? Le voy a enviar esto al chat de WhatsApp. Tres preguntas nada más por el tiempo y practicamos inglés, no español, ¿ok? English, please. Únanse a los grupos mientras yo les envío esto a el chat. Here we go. Vamos clase, únanse al grupo.
go. Here we go. Okay, now you can go to WhatsApp because I'm going to send this picture. I'm just missing cutting it. Tell me, Bernardo and Wendy, did you have problems? Tuvieron problemas, chicas, para unirse sus alas? Yes or no? Okay. There you go. I'm just have Delmi and Bernardo. Bernardo only. Join your group, please. Okay, did you check WhatsApp? There we have three questions. Okay, practice, please. Practice, girls. Practice, chicas. Nereida, what time do you get up? I get up five o'clock. Carmen, what time do you have lunch? Carmen Guadalupe. I am at uh, eight o'clock. Uh, get up. <coughs> Hola Irma. Creo que tiene problemas de conexión. Wendy, what time do you I, get up? Eh, I get up. Um, Five. I get up six thirty. Hola. The morning. Cinco y media de la mañana. I get up. Five. Half time. Cinco y media. Okay. Oh. And Carmen, do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Um, Juliana, what time do you go to bed? Hello. <laughs> Miss, what time do you get up? I get up at 4 30 a.m. sometimes or most of the time. And you, Yancy, what time do you get up? At 10. At 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. Yeah. Wow, what a lucky girl. And you, Jaime, what time do you get up? And get up at uh, 6. At 6, okay. Six. And, and Herfan, what time do you get up? I get up 5 o'clock. At five o'clock in the morning. And Claudia? I get up seven o'clock in okay. the morning. Ah, seven, six, ten, four. Excellent. So did you finish practicing? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, excellent. So let's go back. Vamos a la sala principal. Did you finish practicing? Yes. Yes. What time do you get up, Jose Samuel? I get up at half past five. Oh, God. Early in the morning. And Emma, what time do you get up? 
me get up four, five, thirty minutes. Wow. And Saira, what time do you get up? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, great. So continue practicing, please. Did you finish class? Did you practice? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. And your cameras, yes. I see. And Catherine, I cannot see you, girl. Sus cameras, please. Ahí estamos. Muy bien, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. What time do you get up? Yeah, I get up at 6 30 a.m. Okay. And tell me, what time do you get up? I get up at 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock. Okay. And Carlos Manuel? What time do you get up? I get up at 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m. Catherine, I cannot see you, Catherine. Camera's on. What Ay, time? Me enciendo la cámara porque voy todavía en el carro. Wow, so what time do you get up, Catherine? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I check her at um, 7 o'clock. Okay. 7 o'clock. So let's go back to the room. we go let's go back so was this a uh, this practice easy or difficult easy easy right so daily routines they are not that difficult solo tenemos que mezclar actividades con El tiempo que lo hacemos, okay? What time do you get up? What time do you go to bed? What time do you have lunch, breakfast? Okay? And all of that stuff. So, let me ask you. This is the last activity. Let me see. Vamos a hacer la misma interacción, solo que ahora en el grupo general, okay? Vamos a empezar con, veamos, Ingrid. Ingrid, pregúntale a Delmi. Ingrid, ask Delmi. Delmi, what time do you get up? I get up at five o'clock. Five o'clock. Excellent. Now, Delmi, ask Herson. What, what, uh, hey, no se escucho. Repeat, please. Excellent. What time to you no. get up? I get up five o'clock. I get up at five o'clock. Uh, Harrison, can you ask Gabriela Nicole? Gabriela, what time do you have to get up? Eso son tantito. Sí. ¿Cómo yo? Gabriela Nicole, I cannot see your camera. No escuché que me repito otra vez. Okay, Gabriela. can you repeat please? Ajá, excellent. Okay, what time do you get up? Your microphone. There you go. Acuare, no sé si me escucharon. Yes, muy bien. Yes. Ok, listen. Esto puede pasar eh, en la vida real, pero. ¿Qué pasa si, digamos, estamos conversando Gerson y Gabriela? ¿Nos vamos a quedar así, callados, frisados? No, interactuemos normalmente, ¿ok? ¿Qué sería lo que Gaby tiene que decirle? Ah, no entendí. O sea, no entendió ella, pero ¿qué expresión usamos para pedirle que repita o que no entendió? 
I don't understand. Repeat, repeat please. please. Ah, I'm sorry. Can you repeat, please? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Porque esa es nuestra meta. Si estamos aprendiendo estas expresiones es para comunicarnos con alguien más. Entonces, que la comunicación sea lo más tranquilo, lo más fluido, ¿ok? No, que no se vea como estoy forzada o me están preguntando robótica y automáticamente respondo, ¿ok? No, relajémonos, practiquemos. Este es el momento para que nosotros practiquemos, ¿ok? Y usemos todo lo que vimos ya en el módulo anterior. No tengamos miedo, ¿ok? Vamos con los últimos dos. A Milcar le pregunta la número dos, que es... ¿Cuál es número dos? What time do you... Oh, it's not I have lunch. lunch. Oh, you have lunch. What time do you have lunch? A Milcar ask... ¿A quién le dije? Pregúntele a... A Carlos Manuel. Hi, este, Carlos Manuel, what time do you have lunch? I have lunch at, at noon. Okay, excellent. Carlos Manuel, ask Stacy. The last question, what time do you go to bed? What time do you go, what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10.30 p.m. Ok, so, excellent. One more time. Siempre tratemos de usar el nombre de la persona al inicio para que se vea un poco más este, eh, la conversación que no sea tan pesada. Así como, hey, Carlos, what time do you get up? Okay. Stacy, what time do you go to bed? Ingrid, what time do you have lunch? Ok. Que sea lo más normal, lo más fluido, ¿sí? Ese también es nuestro propósito. Interacción con expresiones reales en inglés, ¿ok? Preguntas, chicos. Preguntas de esta clase. ¿Cómo estuvo este tema? Easy. Easy. Interesting. 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 Excellent. Excellent. So. Teacher, se me fue la energía. Me quedé sin internet. No podía entrar. <risa> me frustré. No, Milker, don't worry. Saben que una de las ventajas sí, sí. es que también queda nuestra clase grabada. Revísenla uh -huh. si tienen algún problema y siempre díganme, teacher, esto me pasó. Por eso es que mi cámara estaba apagada o por eso no estaba interactuando, ¿ok? Vamos a tomar el screenshot en 3, 2, 1. Sonríen, smile. Ay, qué bonito. Ay, quédense, no se muevan. Voy a tomar un segundo, ¿ok? Wait, here we go. Muy bien, clase, para que sepamos, aquí estamos el resto. Three, two, and one. Ok, so, si no hay más preguntas, we are going to stop the class here. Teacher. Eh, dígame, yes. Eh, digamos, eh, como usted nos ha dicho que podemos interactuar, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, digamos que yo interrumpí la eco. A veces uno dice, en español dice, perdón, eh, le quiero decir algo, uh -huh. no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Ah, ¿cómo decimos? O cómo hacer la, in... la Ajá, o cómo eh, interrumpir a la persona. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Can I say something? ¿O puedo decir algo? Son expresiones igual. Si quieren, hacemos lo mismo. Les puedo buscar un post también, alguna imagen, para enviárselas y que ustedes practiquen, ¿ok? Interactuemos. Si ustedes también tienen algún post que quieran compartir ahí en el grupo y que sea útil, también hagámoslo, ¿ok? ¿Estamos? Okay. Claro. Thank you. Thank Nos you. vemos cuando. No. Eh, ah, ok. Monday. Monday. See you on Monday. Si no han entrado a la plataforma, hoy es el día, ¿sí? Hoy y finalizamos con sección número dos. So, see you on Monday. Have a great day. Weekend. Bye bye. 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 Bye b